Hello, I'm Natasha Belling and welcome to 10 News. Tonight, Sydney plays host to television royalty as Oprah Winfrey arrives in the Harbour City. Oprah's the queen, you know. The treasurer promises a better deal for customers as he prepares to unveil his banking reform plan. And royal security under review after Prince Charles and Camilla are driven through rioting protesters. We need to look at our intelligence when major demonstrations of that sort are in very close proximity to royal palaces. Well, the Oprah Winfrey Roadshow continues with the talk show queen touching down in Sydney. The Harbour City is throwing a special cocktail party tonight to celebrate her arrival. Tens entertainment reporter Ange Bishop is there and a warm Sydney welcome for Oprah tonight. Tash, consistently with everywhere else that Oprah Winfrey has been on her visit to Australia, as soon as she arrived in Sydney, we put on one of our classic best days. And she has been poking around, having a quick look out of her hotel room window, and I'm sure enjoying the vista. We've really put on a perla. Tonight is the official welcome for the Queen of TV to Sydney and to Australia, in effect, in an official capacity. It's going to be a private cocktail party here on a harbourside location. You can see the marquee behind me. And the sort of guest we're talking about are uh, Martin Ferguson, Premier Christina Keneally, Minister Jody McKay, the United States Ambassador will be here. And this is also the first time that Oprah will be reunited with her 302 visiting US audience members since they all split up to start travelling around the country. So they're going to be part of the welcome tonight as well. There's going to be some very special entertainment and a couple of surprises. The event is all styled by Donna Hay and it's looking a million bucks. We've had a sneak peek inside. It's going to be quite a special evening. Now there are a couple of weddings going on here at the moment uh, near where we are because it's you know a lovely Saturday afternoon on a lovely day and uh, they have surmised that were a visiting United States television celebrity to be around and happen to wander into the wrong reception they might be welcome. Have a listen to what they said. As long there's one thing and I will let her know ahead of time she's got to give a present to all of my guests. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the start of a few days that um, Ms Winfrey will be in Sydney, culminating of course in the big shows at the Sydney Opera House on Tuesday the 14th. Meantime, she enjoyed some local hospitality before leaving Melbourne last night. Let's take a look at what she's been up to over the last 24 hours. A snapshot moment as the Oprah tour winds on. Oprah Winfrey left Melbourne this morning on her private jet for Sydney, flying into a sparkling harbour city, putting on its best sunny face. The talk show queen was prepared, though, and a Kubra, the perfect Aussie accessory. That book was the unauthorised tell-all the dish dirt. Oprah's staying at Sydney's Intercontinental a Hotel, a favourite with stars and dignitaries. Outside, one fan willing to pay money for a ticket to one of the shows being filmed here. I'll bring my own seat. I'm happy to stand at the back and just watch and be quiet. I just, just want to be one lucky. Just squeezing one more person, please. Also at the hotel, some of Oprah's American audience members catching their breath on a whirlwind tour of our greatest sites. Sure, it was sad to leave Byron Bay, but um, Sydney's great and we're excited to be back. Oprah's the queen, you know. I just hope she's having as good a time here in Australia as we are. And it seems she is. Last night in Melbourne, she surprised Megan Castran, who thought she was hosting audience members for a private dinner. And I went to open the door, and when I opened the door, there was Oprah, and I'm like, oh my God, and there she's just standing here with two enormous bottles of tequila, which were polished off very quickly, and I'm feeling today. She met Oprah at shows in the past, once giving her a business card. I'm on my way, and it's on Megan's vision board. I'm on my way. I have to cut the letters out. And I know it. I'm here. Oh my God, she's here. Last night, the talk show queen had a chance to let her hair down. Someone came to take my plate away, she goes, no, I'll have that one, thanks, and she took my, my last tacos. That was so funny. She's just real, and she's relaxed and beautiful and an amazing energy. And for Megan, an Oprah super fan, a dream come true. You know, on Oprah, they say there's certain life moments, and they say there's, you know, maybe 10 in your life. Well, that was one of them for sure. And with the finishing touches being made to the set for Oprah's two shows, the lady had a moment to herself this afternoon, chatting on the phone, taking in a view she may never forget. Eddie Meyer, 10 News.
The government will tomorrow announce a raft of reforms to increase competition in the Australian banking sector. Treasurer Wayne Swan today offered a glimpse of what's in store, but the opposition isn't convinced it will work.